I think uh, the current trends in the diagnostic industry ever since the pandemic one there's been a lot of manufacturing of products uh, especially lab kits which has started within the country spurred on by the need during the pandemic especially for rt pcr kits for covid-19 and uh, I think as a follow up now since uh, these companies these startups have shown the promise I think uh, they would venture into other fields the second recent trend has been the presence of aggregators of diagnostic services who actually did not uh, have their own labs but were uh, had a large presence in social media online and they were trying to aggregate these uh, you know reach out to people and then aggregate the labs together get patients together and come and uh, uh, give them services this i think uh, has opened up a large area of preventive medicine where uh, preventive health checks have uh, come to the forefront also again as a consequence of covid-19 pandemic where everyone realized that health is so very important the third thing i think uh, in this country is uh, the focus on uh, indigenous manufacturing of uh, medical equipment especially in the field of uh, radiology and imaging where right from ultrasound scanners to high end digital x-ray equipment and hopefully with the focus of the government on creating a indigenous mri we would seen soon have that the latest trend has been uh, in the field of integrated diagnostics where there is now emphasis on uh, getting the radiology test the pathology test the biochemistry test all together to be able to make a comprehensive assessment of a patient's disease last but not the least is the trend towards home diagnostics point of care diagnostics and artificial intelligence where artificial intelligence algorithms especially in the radiology field and to a limited extent in the field of histopathology are making a dent are able to do many tasks which previously the radiologists were doing and the holy grail of course would be that they these artificial intelligence algorithms would be able to write reports on the x-rays and cts and mris without human intervention so i think it's exciting time uh, for uh, the diagnostic sector both on the innovation side as well as on the deployment side i think uh, diagnostic services in india quality diagnostic services are the cheapest in the world when we compare even with our neighboring countries bangladesh sri lanka nepal we provide diagnostic services at a cheaper rate than even these countries i do not want to compare with the west where we are hugely uh, uh, low cost as compared to them yet affordability is an issue in our country we are after all a poor country and uh, people cannot afford even these low rates so i think the emphasis has to be on innovative technologies which will be able to lower costs i feel artificial intelligence will be uh, uh, will have some role to play in this then also technologies where we are able to increase throughput where on a scanner we are able to do 50 scans in, instead of 25 and be able to increase the numbers without sacrificing quality that again would lead to better utilization of equipment and hence lowering costs and uh, apart from that 
uh, I think being using the right test for the right disease is also very, very important where the expertise of the doctor comes in so that multiple tests are not done, but the right test is done. I think that also is very, very necessary. And ultimately, the focus on make in India will make uh, the equipments cheaper, will also make spare part availability much better and uh, hopefully service costs will reduce and that will also improve the uh, help in lowering costs for uh, various tests and procedures even below the low costs that exist today.